लेट्स वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ जागो उड़ीसा जगा उड़ीसा दैट मींस दैट वी शुड अवेकन आवर सेल्फ एंड अदर्स सो दैट जगा उड़ीसा दैट मींस जगन्नाथ मय एंड अदर्स गौरवशाली आत्मनिर्भर उड़ीसा कैन बी वेरी मच पॉसिबल टू टुडेस टॉपिक रिवॉल्व्स अराउंड अ क्वेश्चन वेदर मिस्टर पांडियन इज एन आउटसाइडर और नॉट आई वाज watching his interviews and i appreciate that he told that uh, when somebody is true indian so that doesn't need that uh, somebody to confine himself within the state where he took bath according to me there are several aspects which can clearly help you uh, in many sense to identify a person whether he really or truly uh belong to that particular uh, place or not uh it is not about uh, where he is from but it is about how much belongingness he or she has towards the land uh, where he or she currently resides so let us discuss one by one to find it out whether mr pandian is an outsider for odisha or not i strongly believe he is an outsider and to support this answer i have 5 to 6 points and the first point is yes he is an outsider because the one who has no belongingness towards the land it is its heritage is an outsider like here in odisha jagannath culture if he understands the jagannath culture then definitely he would not have done what he has done now how i am saying that because the math and temple culture is very very integral part of jagannath culture what he has done perhaps the place where the great guru guru nanak has also visited and stayed and that place i believe that has been destroyed and similarly various math and uh, other small temples have been destroyed in the process of development and what kind of development we are seeing that development is not actually which can uh, enhance the devotion similarly the one who believes the jagannath culture can be spread across the uh, globe with the help of a lady who herself doesn't understand what jagannath culture is even uh, they themselves address the mahaprasad as a dish so they are they are outsider definitely because because for them it is it is a tourism place he should understand so that's why i strongly believe he is an outsider one who takes care of the all the tangible assets infrastructures without understanding the intangible aspects like the quality quality of education quality of service but in the name of 5t he guarantees the the delivery of service timely manner and also transparent manner but how it is possible when there is a huge vacancy which is clearly evident from the fact that now mass appointments are being uh, carried out even in the stadiums when 20000 10000 15000 uh teachers are being appointed at a time that shows that schools are devoid of the teachers the quality education is hampered so why this transformation is being done only only to the physical infrastructures because of pc culture the percent is the amount involved in that project can be shallowed i strongly believe that is the sole intent behind all these projects and another vital and significant uh, aspect to leadership development that person he himself says that uh, we need to develop leadership qualities in the name of nova o project uh, a lot of uh, money are being spent in the name of leadership development and extra curricular activities and all but can he answer to my simple question why campus election are being stalled why there is no campus election for years now that means 
you are yourself making the youth voiceless on one hand and another hand you want all the youth to come out being be successful in their respective fields and to develop their leadership qualities is it possible so that's why this clearly suggests that you are an outsider so that's why it doesn't matter to you when odia youth are uh, completely out of track their academic sessions are disrupted in the name of nuao so that forced them to now reluctant to sit for the examination so that that is the real status of all the universities and colleges in odisha so that clearly suggest you are an outsider and another very painful and alarming point come to my mind when i see jobless youths of odisha are now being addicted to alcohols and drugs across the state and what this gentleman is doing now we see the liquors are accessible in every nooks and corners of our society so that is the development he talks about the one who has belongingness towards the people and uh, its youth can definitely sit quiet witnessing all this so that's why i strongly believe he is an outsider because the party to which he belongs is definitely named after the great biju babu who once advised the women to take charge and demolish all the uh, liquor shops because he also understood the ill impact of liquor if it is accessible across the state so that is that is why i strongly believe mr pandian is an outsider last but not the least in every democratic setup in democracy the people's representatives are the most powerful but here being a bureaucrat that time he hijacked the democratic system and making authoritative approach clearly visible even one minister one executive cannot meet his boss or chief minister and the law makers even mlas and others it is a dream comes true to meet his or her own boss i strongly believe i myself i could meet honorable president of india for my grievance related to corruption in opsc my paper was manipulated in essay paper 117 become 50 but still i could meet honorable president of india honorable governor of odisha but still now i couldn't get a chance to meet my chief minister who is highly regarded across india as the most popular chief minister but the reality is in front of all of you so that's why i strongly believe mr pandian is an outsider i will repeatedly say to become an insider to become part of any uh, culture any state you need not have to uh, take birth here but you have to understand their issues you have to have the belongingness towards them not vote bank politics i strongly believe he and his party like many other party in india are doing nothing but vote bank politics that is what my argument to prove that mr pandian is an outsider for odisha thank you jai jagannath bande utkal janani